Hi and welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for December 2019. It is a general reading, so as trust yourself what resonates, believe what does not. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances and the questions you'd most like answered, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome, awesome to have you here. Hit the subscribe button to get notified of all the new videos coming out, as well as channel news. And uh, for those that regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. And uh, I just want to wish you all a very beautiful festive season for uh, Christmas and the New Year. Sending you many, many beautiful blessings. Before we get started, the 2020 forecasts are available now on my website. There are one hour pre-recorded tarot forecast with me that includes all aspects of self, including career and finances, love and relationships, your uh, Predictions for 2020, your general energies, we dive deep into those, particularly around opportunities, challenges, um, aspects of self to work on in 2020, yeah, as well as some beautiful higher guidance in terms of crowning energies and an Akashic record check of your past life information. So numbers are limited. I'm only recording them from now through to the end of January. And uh, the link's going to pop up over here uh, if you're interested in getting one of those. Otherwise, you can check out the info in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Got lots of beautiful crystals amping things up. And we're going to open up your reading, Aquarius, with the uh, Enchanted Map Oracle. Right, let's see what you need to know for the second half of December. Mm, this is super interesting. When I was shuffling, this came out. Yeah, the Sacred Pool. Very beautiful, soft energy. It's... Uh, Oh, yeah, the guidance. It says Aquarius, the world is a reflection of your thoughts, your feelings and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. When you look in the mirror, do you like what you see? The sacred pool asks you that you focus on self-love and self-esteem. We are all works in progress, so a detached self-examination made with rigorous honesty is called for now. Reflect by the sacred pool and be at peace with yourself. Can you see how far you've come and how magical your life is? Do you notice the spark of the divine shining through your eyes? When you're conscious that you're the embodiment of spirit, it becomes easier to respect yourself and act in good conscience. Then you'll reap the greatest rewards. Your unique service to the world is not only needed but celebrated. See the love within you and know that if you cast it upon the waters, it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace for you are beautiful and loved. Act with surety and confidence and success shall be yours, whatever your inquiry. Very beautiful energy, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have a look at your general energies for the second half of December with the uh, energy oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. Mm. First up, you've pulled the need to take some time out for rest and rejuvenation. I mean, we are coming up to holiday season, particularly if you've been hard at it all year, Aquarius. Time for some self-pampering. Mm. You've also got your root chakra here. You're represented by Archangel Michael, which is, it can be worrying about your financial security, your basic needs. It can also portend to those things improving and stabilizing. Wow, this is super interesting. This came out in exactly the same position for Aries, yeah? Cornucopia coming in. Um, it's number 11, which is brand new beginnings to connection to spirit. Cornucopia is success on every level. It's whatever you want in life. Yeah, love and relationships, um, finances, prosperity, abundance, good health, hope and happiness. Mm -hmm. Things like the end of December is really going to be amping it up. For most signs, mm. your, well, your lower chakras are coming out. Your second chakra, which is your um, your sacral chakra, yeah. Um, there can be some things addressed around fear and doubt or old emotions that you're recycling through in terms of the past, yeah. Sitting in your sacral chakra, perfect time to release before you head into 2020. 
If you haven't watched it yet, check out the uh, video I just posted on the 12th, 12th portal opening, as well as the full moon energy, both happening on the 12th. Yeah. You're worried about things, the universe is saying don't worry, particularly if you're um, if you're a woman, mm -hmm. uh, your coin's coming in. Yeah, there's definitely going to be an improvement in your finances in December. We always co-create that, either with our positive energy and vibrations, yeah, or the actions you take. Um, guys, it can relate to the part your partner. Mm. You've also got your community here, yeah, so your friendships are going to be really important. It's about celebrating with your friends, guy or girl, in December, yeah? Connecting in with them. All right, let's put some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. Wow. Guy or girl, your prosperity is absolutely coming in. Universe is trying to deliver it to you. There's a key message here because it's sitting under rest and rejuvenation. So it's almost like you've done a whole lot of work and it's time to just relax and allow your abundance to come in. Yeah. Because it's sitting under rest and rela relaxation. Allow yourself to receive from the universe. Hmm. Right next to that, for those of you worrying about your basic needs, you've got Lakshmi Bright Future. Stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Sitting right next to your abundance. Mm. And in terms of your cornucopia, bringing into your life what you want, you've got Diana Focused Intent. Yeah, Focus, focus, focus on what it is you want. To keep taking action, um, you'll hit your mark. You always co-create. All right. Let's see what else you need to know, Aquarius. Mm. In terms of your emotions, because this is directly under your sacral chakra, you've got green Tara, start delegating, stop doing so much and ask others for help, particularly if it's stressing you out, particularly in the festive season. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Under your coin? Your Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Your prayers have been heard, they are being answered. There's some amazing energy coming through from the universe in December trying to help you out. Mm. Wow, this is gorgeous. You're going through this beautiful transformation, brand new beginnings, lots of butterflies there, yeah? Enormous change, going to bring great blessings and joy into your life. Just going to say, feel free to go high five each other in the comment box below. We haven't even finished yet. All right, let's put some guidance from the crystal reading deck, which is the healing deck. See what comes out, you Aquarius. Mm. Uh, this is super interesting. You got amethyst meditation. Um, it's directly related to rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, so if you want to find some inner peace and stillness. Um, I'll link in the guided meditation playlist. In fact, I'm going to put a special one up for you that I found this week. It's amazing. It's going to help you with your prosperity too, which is sitting directly under that. All you need to do with guided meditations is to get comfy, lay down and listen yeah, and relax. Um, ideally, play them through a speaker if you can, so you can absorb the sound therapy. Hmm. You've also got the message to watch the moon cycles are going to affect you, yeah, your energy, your emotions. Um, it can be why you've got worry coming up and down around your root chakra, yeah, your basic needs. Mm. You've also got fluorite learning. So there's something to learn in terms of bringing your cornucopia in, something you might need to tweak about self, whether it's self-belief, whether there's something you need to change possibly to your plans, your goals to bring it in. Mm -hmm. It can be just self-talk that you need to release yourself from. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Aquarius. Mm. In terms of any emotions coming up, or it's also related to asking others for help, yeah, you've got Azurite Expanded Awareness, um, which is looking at the big picture, taking a different approach. Um, 
if people have consistently in your life, because often we co-create that by not expecting others and not speaking up and expecting them to help us out, right? It's about taking a different approach to how you communicate what you need from them. Mm, wow. You're absolutely manifesting your coin coming in. Libyan gold tectite sitting under your coin in your miracle. Um, this transformation, the change going on is absolutely going to bring you success. I'm also going to say to you, it's related also to your community. So be very mindful of who's in your friendship circle and your close circle of friends and family, right? If there's anybody negative, it's time to release yourself from any negative energy, yeah, and push them to the edge of the circle because it's directly related to you transforming not only self but also the relationships around you going into 2020 so they're very positive supportive and uplifting yeah let me know if that relates to you okay let's put you some guidance from the messenger oracle mm, yeah this is just reinforcement of expanded awareness yeah challenge your perception the way you're looking at things particularly if when you get all of this coming out saying you've got abundance and bright future and you go not for me yeah you need to change how you're looking at things because when you do that you block your flow you've absolutely got big changes coming yeah change is unavoidable don't fight them because it's going to lead you to your success whether it's career changes number six by the way which is your abundance and love um, mm, you've also got time to reflect so that quiet time is looking about how far you've come um, the things that you've accomplished the things you may not have got done are they still worthy of you taking them forward into 2020 it's about appreciating how amazing you are just put you one more mm, and key message you've got is to be patient Patient at this time, allow things to unfold. Particularly if you're sitting there going, when? When's it coming? Getting flow. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put you some higher guidance from the uh, wisdom of the ancient or the hidden realms, yeah, which is connection to the divine. Mm. You've got the keeper of scales, which is all about fairness and balance. You can also, dare I say, becoming justice coming in for all the challenges you've gone through. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aquarius, the law of harmony is enacted when the keeper of scales comes to you. Align with her as the law states, making conscious choices that create balance in your life. When you do, you magically align with the abundance of the universe, oh, I hope you're listening, mm -hmm. and its powerful forces of synchronicity. This creates conditions and possibilities that lead you to the fulfillment of your highest intentions. Oh, I've got to say, it's a message direct from source. Harmony begins with the self and then resonates outward to others. You're in harmony with yourself when you nurture yourself with love, respect and acceptance, always fully taking responsibility for your actions. Only then can you be in harmony with others. This is because love is the central force that connects all of life and aligns you with like-minded others. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Another message is restoration and the positive fair resolution in all disputes including those involving the legal system or other important exchanges. The keeper of scales is a just and kind ally, always making sure balance is activated on your path. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out the 2020 forecast if you're interested in those. Link is on this video and in the description box below. Have an amazing Christmas and New Year. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.